Welcome to the latest episode of the miniature painting series. In the upcoming tutorials, we will be painting figures from the character expansion of the Dark Souls board game. On today's video, we'll cover the steps to paint the Explorer armor. For this project, you need the following colors. After priming the miniature, I painted the fabric under the armor with Abaddon black and the same for the horns. For the second step, I dry brushed downstone to highlight the folds of the fabric, and I did not apply on the horns. I revisited the model and painted the shirt with Abaddon black. The boots and some of the straps of the skirt were done with a mix of Hinox hide and Mephstone red. I used Zendry dust for the light leather parts of the pauldrons, the skirt, boots and gloves. For some of the trim details of the armor, I used Stroh's layer orange. I also used Mornfang brown for the pouches in the back. For the helmet and details of the armor, I applied some Retributor armor. I chose Hinox hide to paint the darker details of the goggles. The weapon set seems to be the crystal one, so I started with Iron Breaker as the base for the shield and sword. Then I applied some Draken Half Night Shade to darken the base of the crystals. I made a mess with the shield, which I fixed later, but you can try to avoid that. I also applied Seraphine Sepia to weather the Zendry Dust brown leather and golden parts of the model. To continue with the blue tone, I dry brushed Thousand Suns Blue on the tips of the crystals. And on the edges of the crystal, I dry brushed Neck on Chrome Pound to keep it shiny. I also painted the stained shield with Iron Breaker here. Finally, I painted the base with Abaddon Black. And this is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any constructive feedback, questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to drop in the comment section below. And if you still haven't done so, hit the bell button to get a notification when the next episode is up. See you next time!